Hello, my desktop publishing students. All right, so we're doing, I'm doing assignment number 24, daily bread sales. So I've opened it up. I've saved it in my folder, just like I would expect you to do. And now basically in this one, I'm just telling you to do stuff, okay? Because you should know how to do all of this and you're not getting any instructions like the test would be. Resize the chart to fit the range A48 to, okay, so I have to go up to E here. So um, I can see that, um, okay, it said A48. Well, it's not going to fit into A48. On the retail sheet, I'm on the retail sheet. So I'm going to say that we're going to put it um, about here. And I can size it up to my line here. And if I go further down, though, if I drag it down here, Okay, oh, there's my A48, okay, and go to M67. All right, so I'm a little bit past M, so I'm going to slide back in here. All right, we'll have to adjust or play with it later, but you've got the general idea of where we're going to place it, all right? And now it says in the Quick Layout group, apply Layout 8. All right, so you're going to go to Design, and you're going to go to Quick Layout, and you are going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we want this layout, number eight, okay? All right, now in the chart styles, apply a chart style that you like. All right, so go to a chart style that you like. I'm looking. Why oh, can't I like that one? Okay, I'm going to go back to this one. You can choose whatever style you like. That's good. And it says um, change the chart. Oh, now one thing here. If you want to change colors, okay, watch. You could go and you could choose different colors. So if you weren't happy, you know, with your colors, then you can go and choose anything that you want. Or you can then go choose colors here, you know, anything that you want. So um, I don't know what color to go with. Um, Maybe I'll go back here. No, I think I'll go with that color. Okay, I'm going to go with that color. All right, you can decide what you want to do. So then it says is to go do the chart title. And the chart title is supposed to read daily sales. All right, so daily sales. All right, and go shift home. And it said um, use a proper font color and font size. All right, so we want to do that. So I'm going to go to home. I'm going to go, this looks like we've got a lot of room here, so I'm going to go to about 32, and I'll stick with this font color, and I'll make it bold and italics. And I think I'll likely move it over here, and I'm going to take the border off. So I'm going to go to Format and Shape Outline. I don't want a border, so no outline. And you can choose how to do yours however you want to do it. All right, and then it says delete both axis titles. Okay, so I want to click on this axis title and delete. I want to click on this axis title and delete. All right, and now it said um, to the chart area. Okay, so I'm on the chart area and right click, go to format chart area. And it told me to use a linear gradient, a gold linear gradient. Well, you can use any color it doesn't matter to me because I don't think gold will go with mine but anyways I'll try it gradient okay and I'm going to go to default and I haven't got gold here I'll try the orange okay I can go with the orange linear and then choose or did it say change oh set the angle okay so I want to go up here and set my angle to 226 I think that's what no 225 oh I missed it okay I'm going to put a 5 in there, 225, okay? All right, so there's what I've got. Um, I'm not happy with that color. There, I think that's better, okay? All right, so, and I can put my linear back on here. And now I've got a different angle. So here I'm going to put in 225. Okay, that was too much white there. So I've got to change this. Okay, that's a little bit better um, there. All right, I'll leave that one. That's okay. And now um, 
the plot area is to have no fill. Well, I can see that it doesn't have any fill right now, but I'll click on the plot area. Note that it says plot area and it said I want no fill. Okay, so it definitely has no fill. All right, so now apply a font color of your choice to all the text and numbers in the chart. All right, so the text and the numbers. So let's do the horizontal category axis first. Let's go home and we want a font color. So what will happen if I put on this same color? Well, that's all right. Okay. And the numbers here, I think I'm going to leave at white because that's the easiest for us to see. I might size them up a little bit. Okay. Let's try 12. Yeah. I'm going to size them up a bit. But I'm going to leave mine at white. You can decide what color you want to do yours at. All right. And then it says, um, turn on the primary minor horizontal grid lines. Okay, so I've got to go to design. I've got to go here, grid lines, and primary horizontal minor. Okay, and there's the primary horizontal minor turned on, and you can see the lines going through. I don't think I will, well, maybe I should change the colors. Hold on here, the grid lines the minor grid lines, and let's see here if I use orange. Well, there, yes, I can see them better, so that's good. All right, I'll leave it like that. And then it said, add apply a solid color uh, fill to the category axis. Okay, so here's the category axis. Now make sure it says format axis, solid fill. I have no idea what to fill this with. Um... No, that's a little bit light. So what if I put something like a burgundy behind it? A little too heavy. And let me try something lighter. Okay, I'll go with that. I don't know what you want to use, but that's okay. All right. And then um, set the transparency on the category axis. Okay, so set the transparency to 75%. All right. And so now I have a little bit of shading behind it, but not a lot. I've changed my transparency. And uh, now add a shadow preset perspective diagonal lower right shadow and change the font size to eight points. Well, I think I am at eight points. So home here. No, I'm at nine. Okay, so I'll go down one to eight. And now I said... Uh, apply a shadow. All right, so we've got to go to effects, go to shadow, and it said that I want a um, uh, shadow preset. So there's a preset, and I want to choose the one that says um, perspective diagonal. Okay, perspective and diagonal upper right, no, lower right. Lower right, perspective diagonal, lower right. So I chose that, and you can see that. And now, Let's go add a shadow color here, although this might be tough um, to get a color that we can see. Okay, I got the burgundy. Well, maybe I should try burgundy. And if I change the angle a little bit. Okay, I can't see my shadow. Okay, if I go to distance here. Okay, when we were here, I couldn't see the shadow because I think I, I, I know I had burgundy. I don't know what color you had, but I had burgundy. And I had um, transparency was up. My transparency was up like at 88%. So I couldn't see or barely see it. So what I did is I put my transparency down so I could see the shadow and then I could see the burgundy and I just changed it to blue here right now so that you can see it. I don't see where that enhances that at all or looks good. Now, if you can come up with one that looks good, then keep it. But I'm going to go to mine and presets and say no shadow because I don't see where that enhances that at all. Okay, so that's um, something that you have played with and looked at.
All right, and now it said add data labels inside end if necessary. Well, I've got data labels, but if you haven't got data labels, remember, go to chart elements and add your data labels and say inside end. So I'm not going to change mine because that's where mine are. But anyway, that's where you go. Okay, and um, then it said um, add data labels and solid white fill. Okay, I've already got white here. So I'm going to go to the data labels and fill them with maybe yellow. Oh, I'm on shadow. Well, there you can see my shadow on the data labels. I'll leave it there. Fill. Okay, then I'm not going to use yellow. So solid fill. And I don't want that color. Um, maybe the purple. No. What color can I use? Blue. Okay, I guess I can go with the blue, but the white doesn't show now. The font doesn't. So I'm going to go to home here and change my font color to burgundy. Okay, that can work. That's readable. I can see it. Okay. And now it said add a transparency. Okay, and it said a transparency of now 85%. I think that would be pretty high, but let's just try it. 85. Yeah, that's too high for mine. Now, it might fit yours, but it's too high for mine. So I want to come back. There, I'll leave mine. Mine's going to be about 16%, but you can decide what color to choose on yours. All right, and then it says add a 3D format on a bevel. Okay, so we want to go here and let's close up here. 3D format, so go to 3D format and you want a bevel. All right, so we want a bevel and we've got choices here so you can choose what one that you seem to want. I'm going to go with the circle one first. Well, that's not bad. Um, what did they, yeah, top circle. Okay, so top bevel, circle. But you know what? Try the other ones and see if they look better to you. And if they do, that's just fine and dandy too. So whatever seems to work for you. All right. So I'm just going to go with the circle one, but you can go with anything that you want. All right. So that is that chart. I think that's everything that we were supposed to do there. So I'm nearly out of time. I'm going to put it back here now where I was supposed to put it. And so I'm going to click on your spreadsheet save your spreadsheet and I'll come back and do part two because I only got part one finished. All right, so we'll stop here.